Hello, my name is Josh Beck. I'm a technology teacher in San Antonio, Texas. This is, uh, let's see, it is uh, September 6th, 2010. I'm opening up the school this year with a Blender unit. Uh, the students will be building a simple game, uh, a catapult simulation. They'll match it up against a couple of real world catapults in science class. And we're gonna ask the question, how accurate is the, uh, is the Blender engine? And you know, what variables can we control within the engine and you know how does it really match up to a real life catapult uh, it also introduces the students to blender basics and uh, computer management in my class i've got a dual boot system uh, ubuntu linux and windows so i want the kids to be able to get around and use that stuff so let's go ahead and start building the game for those of you that have watched my other video tutorials uh this is basic you know this is stuff that uh, is in most of them okay there might be a few new tricks i'm going to hit delete and erase selected object add mesh plane okay Boom, and that's gonna create a new plane. I'm gonna hit S and I'm gonna size it up. Going to hold down the middle mouse button and now I'm gonna create a cube, add mesh cube. Uh, I'm gonna scale this cube along the Z axis. So I'm gonna hit S and then Z. I'm gonna scale it down and I'm gonna scale it along the X axis now. So I'm gonna hit S and then X. The X axis is the red line and it's going to create our initial catapult arm, just like that, okay? Uh, I'm going to add some color to this just to differentiate a little bit so that it's easier to tell what it is I'm working with. I'll make the catapult arm blue, and I will make the plane that we're working with down on the bottom a red color. There we go. So now we've got blue and red a little easier to see, possibly. Uh, I'm going to hit, I'm going to scale this along the Y axis just to make it a little longer. I'm going to choose SY, and I'm going to scale it up so it's about that long. Um, with the red cursor, if you take a look, you've got this little red uh, cursor. Uh, by left clicking, you can move that cursor around. The position of that cursor is very important in the Blender uh, because that's where we add new objects. And the ability to sort of slide it around and get it where you want it is important. So I'm going to hit um, Shift S and I'm going to snap cursor to selection using Shift S. That's going to put our red cursor right on the selected object. Uh, from there, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take the cursor and I'm going to position it as close as I can to the, I'm going to position it above our catapult arm and now we're going to add a sphere. I'm going to choose add mesh and uh, it's going to be a UV sphere. I'm going to click OK and I'm going to scale that UV sphere down so that it is, you know, smaller than our catapult arm. OK, uh, the next step is on the keypad now I'm going to hit the delete key. Now this is on the keypad over on the right and that centers the camera on our object. That's a really important key, the delete on the keypad, because you want to be able to work on something. You right click to select it, you choose delete on the keypad, centers right there. And then I'm going to hit three on the keypad to go into side view. Um, three will give us a perfect side view. If I hit seven on the, on the keypad, that gives us a top down view. You can see that I'm now looking straight down on the model, but I'm going to use period to zoom in and then three to go into the side view. Uh, I'm going to come over here where it says object mode. There's a shortcut you could hit tab, and I'm going to choose edit mode. I'm going to hit A to deselect all, and then I'm going to click over here. We got this little triangle down here. Uh, I'm going to click this triangle, all right, to go into face select mode. All right, now I'm going to put the cursor up at the top, and I'm going to use a trick called box select mode. I'm going to hit B, and that's going to give me uh, the opportunity to draw a box around the area that I want to select, and I'm going to select half of this sphere like this, boom. And I'm going to hit delete, and I'm going to erase the faces. All right, and that's now going to give me half a sphere to work with, okay? This is going to be the uh, cup that's going to catch a different sphere. So I'm gonna hit tab, and I've got this sphere, and I've got this catapult arm. So the trick now is to join the two into a single object, okay? And we'll go ahead and give this sphere a little color, but just for fun, uh, I'll go ahead and make it something like that. Uh, I'm gonna hold down shift, and I'm going to right click the catapult arm, all right? and the sphere together and I'm gonna hit control J all right and if you hit control J you'll see that it gives you this option here check it out join selected meshes and what that's gonna do is it's gonna take those two separate meshes and it's gonna join them into one all right um, so if I hit the R key all right and then like X you can see that this catapult arm this is kind of a rough one too rotates around the center there and what we really want to do is we want to uh, take the object center and we want to move it down to the other end of the catapult uh, to get sort of our maximum um, momentum and our maximum throw here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit go into tab to go into face select mode and edit mode I'm gonna right click 
uh, the very end of the catapult, once again, I'm going to hit Shift S, cursor to selection. And that's going to put the cursor down at the base of the catapult arm. All right. Um, I'm going to go back into object mode. All right. And there, there's a shortcut for this, but I'm going to click over here um, on the editing buttons, which is F9. Here, I'll zoom in. Um, it's the little square, okay, that looks like this, this square right here, okay? And uh, it's F9 is a shortcut. And, and down at the bottom, you've got this center cursor. And what the, what uh, center cursor is going to do here is um, it's going to take the object center and move it where the cursor is, okay? So the, the object center is this white circle right here, okay? And the cursor now I've snapped to the bottom end of the catapult, all right, over here. I'm getting used to the new zoom. I'm using a different computer. Um, so I'm going to click center cursor and watch what happens. Watch the white circle when I click that. Boom. The white circle now jumps, all right, down to the cursor there. And when I rotate the catapult arm, watch what happens around the object center. I'm going to hit RX, and it now rotates around the very base, which is what we want, okay? Um, up at the top now, I'm going to take that, I'm going to take our um, cursor and I'm going to position it right about here. I'm going to click Add Mesh. I'm going to add a UV sphere, okay? I'm going to click S and I'm going to size it down so it's smaller than what we're going to use to catch it with, all right? And the trick now, I'm going to hit period to zoom in, seven to look top down to see where it is. I'm going to grab it, I'm going to position it so it's going to drop into the cup now, okay? Um, over here, we're now going to set up some game physics. So I'm going to come over to uh, this little Pac-Man, all right, little guy right here. And I'm going to click on him, all right, those are our logic buttons. And uh, where it says static, all right, I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to change that to rigid body, all right? Uh, that's going to incorporate some game physics here into our simulation and watch what happens. I'm going to hit the P button to play the game. P. Boom. And you can see the, the sphere now drops into the cup. Okay. I'm going to hit escape to get out of that. Now we're going to add a logic button that takes the catapult and flings the sphere uh, by using, it'll rotate the sphere around um, our center, thus throwing the sphere through 3D space. So once again, I'm going to click on Pac-Man. Okay. And you've got these logic buttons down here. Now I've got the catapult arm selected, okay? And I'm gonna click add, add, and add, all right? And what you do is you draw lines and you connect your logic blocks down here. Blender's pretty cool. You, you can learn Python and you can use that, but they provide you with some pretty, pretty decent stuff that you can just sort of connect along the lines there. Um, we don't want this to always rotate, so we're going to create what's called a keyboard sensor. So in the first block, I'm going to say, okay, let's create a keyboard sensor, and I'll come down here to the key, and I'll click spacebar, okay? Um, and the spacebar then, the rotation, we're going to make it rotate a certain amount, all right, every time we hit the spacebar. And if you take a look, the red line intersects our catapult here, so we're going to rotate around the x-axis, okay? So let's go ahead and zoom in here. Uh, you've got three fields. You've got the, the first field right here is X, the second field is Y, the third field is Z, okay? So the first field here, I'm gonna put a value just to test 0 0.05, and I'm gonna see if that works. Now, if it goes in the opposite direction of the way I want it to go, I'll change that to a negative number in a second, we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna hit P to play the game, and now when I hit the space bar, you can see that the catapult rotates in the wrong direction, okay? Um, so that's good that it did that because now I can demonstrate the solution um, where it says 0 0.05 now I'm going to change that to a negative number negative 0 0.05 okay and we're going to swing it now in the opposite direction so I'm going to hit P to play the game spacebar and you can see now it's going to launch our sphere okay through space pretty cool right uh, I'm going to click S and I'm going to scale this thing up um, I'll go ahead and I'll now let's go ahead and grab both of these holding down shift and uh, I'll go ahead and use uh, G and then Y and I'll move them down to the end here. Um, okay, so let's do, I'm gonna hit period to zoom in, period. And let's go ahead and duplicate this now three times. So I'm gonna hit shift D to duplicate those objects and I'll hit X because I wanna drag them out perfectly. And I'll hit shift D, all objects after they've been duplicated begin their life in grab mode. So I can just hit X now and slide it out, and I now have three catapults. Now, 
uh, with three corresponding spheres. So if I hit P and then spacebar, they all three launch at once. All right, and you can see those spheres go rolling down now. Um, what we want is independent keys. So I'm going to select each catapult, and in the logic block down here where, the, where it says spacebar, all right, I'm just going to change the key, period. I'll hit um, up arrow, okay? That's the second one. Uh, the one over on the right, I'm going to go ahead and change that to down arrow. So when I hit P now, spacebar launches the first one, up arrow launches the second one, down arrow launches the third one, okay? Um, the last thing that we did right now is uh, for, for class is we set up some objects down at the end of the, the playing field. So I'll come down here and I'll just like create, I'll go add mesh cube and I'll zoom in on it with a period. And we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll like, uh, I'll hit G and I'll pull it up like this and we'll flatten it out S, we'll make like a domino S Y. Okay, like that. Uh, and we'll make it nice and wide. So, you know, pretty easy to hit S X. Okay, like that. Now, probably that ball is gonna, fling into that. Um, we need to come over here to um, our logic buttons here, Pac-Man, okay? And we're going to make this, all right, static. We're going to jump up to rigid body. And down at the bottom, though, we're going to click bounds box. We're going to tell Blender that this should act like a box and it should have corresponding bounds, collision um, bounds. And if I hit P, watch what happens. This thing should fall and sit flat on the plane. I'm going to hit P, and you can see it sort of wobbles a little bit, okay? Um, so let's see what happens here. If I select my catapult, I don't know if we're in line. I sure do hope so. Um, I am now going to hit P to play and I'm going to launch that particular sphere. It's going to go rolling down the plane at a rather low rate of speed. And it's going to bump into it and knock that cube down. Okay. Uh, real basic setup here. Okay. Um, We'll be working with this uh, project a little more throughout the week, but uh, students should have that basic setup right there where each uh, catapult launches a sphere. And, you know, you can take things like, okay, I could take this, um, this target down at the end, okay, and I could hit Shift-D and then Z to pull it up along the Z axis, put another one right on top. When I hit P, you can see they'll stack on top of each other, and now you've got two, all right? Um, you can create any number of targets down at the end of the range just to kind of get creative and get familiar with the interface. So that's the initial project. Um, eventually, we'll be adding more to it. Uh, we'll be recording the game physics to an IPO. Um, we'll be rendering an animation, dropping the animations into Adobe CS3, and uh, creating a nice video presentation. Okay, So look for those steps later, but uh, right now this is our basic project setup. Um, thank you for listening and uh, look for more tutorials.